Here are my seven tips to reduce cell phone EMF. So if you've got one of these handy EMF readers, this is a great tool because you'll realize that there are so many EMFs in your local environment, especially from that cell phone. And there's more and more emerging research now on the negative effects of cell phone use, especially on brain health. But I've got my great seven tips to help to reduce that exposure. Now, one study done on mobile phone use for just five minutes can cause significant memory impairment in humans as seen here. So it's really important that despite what you may have been told that is not affecting your health, it is, and especially your brain health. Okay, so tip number one is to use air headphones and they have air and not wire, which is so important. Not using those wireless buds that go in the ear, not using Bluetooth because these actually fry your brain and is very detrimental to your brain health. Okay, tip number two, don't use your cell phone in the car, especially on the Bluetooth if you can help it because what your car becomes is like a microwave oven. You're bringing that cell phone signal into the car and it's a metal cage and now you're frying everybody who's in the car. So think about your kids on this one. This is why I try not to get calls on my cell phone when I, especially when I've got my kids in the car. Okay tip number three, keep your talk time to a minimum. So yes we do need our cell phones for modern communication and you know getting in touch with people but you definitely want to limit your use of of that cell phone and actually talking to people because of those EMFs. Okay, tip number four is to make your screens a little bit more yellow. So there is different apps that you can use to adjust the screen color and put it on night mode whenever you can so that you're not having more of that blue light radiation and those EMFs coming into your eyes, which is gonna offset your circadian rhythms, your leptin signaling. It's very destructive to your cellular health and to your brain health as well. Okay, tip number five, try to keep your phone away from you when you're talking or typing on it. So you can actually set it down, type on it so that you're not actually holding the phone as much. Really important, if you are have and you are on a call, make sure it's on speaker mode and then keep it away from you so that it's all about the distance, how close it is to your body's cells that makes the difference for that EMF exposure. Okay, tip number six, put it on airplane mode whenever you can. So this will lessen the cell phone signal EMFs coming into your phone and into your cells. And tip number seven, charge it in another room at bedtime. So you don't want to have your phone anywhere near you at bedtime and when you're sleeping throughout the night. So you can really minimize your EMF exposure by keeping that phone far, far away from you. Ideally charging in another room of your house far away from where you're sleeping. Now for another way to protect your EMFs is magnesium. And getting enough magnesium is really going to protect your cellular health from those EMFs. So please check out my other video, which magnesium is best. I'll see you there.